Denver Mayor Michael Hancock is wrapping up 12 years in office. For those of us who have lived in Denver for his entire tenure, or for part of it, or for those who have watched from outside city limits, it's an opportunity to reflect on a legacy that I think is far from decided. Mayor Hancock was unable to solve some very difficult problems. Homelessness, housing affordability, traffic, pedestrian deaths on our city streets. I don't think it's fair to judge him on that, at least until we see how his successor fares with the same set of problems. Now, the mayor's boosters, the city's power players, they love the Hancock years. Those were good, good years for them. And you'll see some of them in the taxpayer-funded feature-length film that the city made celebrating the greatness of Mayor Hancock. The city gave him the copyright to the film as well, just in case he might find it useful in future self-promotion. Which brings me to one uncomfortable aspect of the Hancock era, which does not require more time to mull over. His legacy of personal selfishness. Sexually harassing a female police officer assigned to protect him was, among other things, an act of selfishness. Telling Denverites to stay home for the holidays during the pandemic, then flying out of town to see his own family, that was another act of selfishness. Using city resources for a feature-length film dedicated to his own greatness, copyrighted to him for his future use, was a final act of selfishness. Now you can argue that those, those are small things in the scope of 12 years and big problems. But something tells me Denver will remember.